Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Sand Hill 3. Uh, we are- ooh, locked door. Ooh. We're in the other world. Ooh. Is it the first time we get to see this guy? I don't know, we saw him here. Heather. That's what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? The name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. Well, I guess... Crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? Ah, uh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do again. you know my father anyway? The acting isn't super good. <laughs> I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this! Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy! Does this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me alright. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking! I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you too. <laughs> yeah. He's one of those people that's like... He's creepy. I don't think he's actually bad. Uh... I don't recall him being bad. But he's just, yeah, he's, he's like in it, but he's not disgusted by it, which is really concerning. <laughs> it's, you'd think anyone seeing this would be like so disgusted, so upset by it, but he seems to be all good with it, which is weird. Okay. We're back in the middle area. Check all the doors. Please let it please say it's broken. Good. Good. A few places I have to explore. Oh, the elevator actually works. Naturally, in this world, it works. <laughs> Of course it does. I think I can exit, can I? I can just exit right where I am. I think I'm on the third floor. I think I can just do this as well. Uh, open the doors, please. Yeah, so the elevators work in the other world. The stairs don't. I don't think there's anything for me here. No. Yeah, let's go through the elevator. Let's see what floors we can go to. Okay, we, got, we can go to floor five. When 
there are noises in the real world that freak me out. Oh, it's the other elevator, of course it is. Okay, let's check the toilets real quick. Nope, we're good. This way. Yeah, the noise these fuckers make. Also, like, before it even started playing, I was like, I bet the noise I'm gonna hear is that. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, see? I hate them. I hate them so much. gotta check my health. I've been hit a couple times. I'm actually okay. It's, I'm not full health, but I'm not bad yet. I've got this stuff. Oxidol. Oxidol. I think I use that with something. I can't examine it. Right, let's just see. Let's just check. I have tons of health items. Let's just check if I use one of the small health drinks. Yeah, see now I'm blue. I was sort of a grey colour. Cool, got some more handgun shell, handgun ammo. Matchbox? Oh yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing. <sighs> oh god, startled the shit out of me. Yeah, it's just a scary room. Just a room, nothing in it, just there to scare you, <laughs> bastards. <laughs> like a glass wall. You should do glass in the way. It doesn't break when I hit it. Maybe it's not glass after all. I don't know why, but the world on the other side is calling me. Why does that seem so familiar, that environment on the other side? Yeah, gap in the floor, but... We've got to the other side of it now. Which way first? Good. I was like, I'm gonna take a guess at to which one will be the wrong door. Ah, save point. Oh, we're back at the art gallery. This is where I think I need to use that, um... The, the, the puzzle solution that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, here's the painting. Caption under the picture, flame purifies all. By these remains may a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No wait, I've never seen it. But I do know it somehow. Yeah. Um, yeah, what you do is, oops, wrong button. You go to items, you combine this with this, and then use it. No. Nope. Apparently not. Let's just see if I can use this. No. Am I at the wrong angle? Yeah, maybe it's a different item. <laughs> Basically, you set this on fire. You set, you pour, pour something into this bucket, set it on fire, and uh, it, purif it burns the painting and opens a doorway. Clearly, I don't have the right thing for it yet. Yeah, for some reason, you can't just use the matches. Annoyingly. I'm gonna have to try another floor. Oh weird, only one of the elevators is working. <laughs> okay. Floor, floor four. We started on floor three.
Yeah. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah. Locked. Honestly, good. Oh, it's also locked. Okay, so this floor is inaccessible for now. Two? Man, so many of the floors are accessible, I hate that. <laughs> You can sort of tell which part of the building you're in by the, the designs, by the like environment design. The uh, higher, of, higher up floors almost look like attic, they like got wood walls and stuff like that. Oh wait, is this the one we started on? Oh. We started on two. I didn't realise that. Three is inaccessible. One is accessible though. Yeah, floor two has got tiles, floor four and five have wood panel stuff. I think it's like a, it's like a barrier here. This like horrifying monster is like a barrier. As long as you don't go close to it, it doesn't hurt you. But it's blocking the path. So, uh, I'm gonna need to explore the first floor. This is almost certainly gonna be the right way to go. Well, you know, gonna be the longer way. Please stop doing that. No. It so desperately wants the camera to fucking be behind me. Or be like, the direction I'm walking. I'm like, fuck that. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> we keep the camera behind at all times. For some reason, the only thing in the fridge is liver. Hope it's not rotten. Pork liver. Why we take that? God only knows. <laughs> like, it's useful. It must be. Otherwise we wouldn't take it. But, um... Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, just the other way. Oh. So wait. <laughs> no, that's not good. We tried this door, didn't we? Yeah. So wait, 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 wait. We've got... We've got pork liver. Do I combine the pork liver with... That, that acid? That... not... It's not an acid, it's like a... This is in the cafeteria's fridge, gotta do... Gotta do something with it before it goes bad. I am so... at a loss. You can put the... Combine it with this. Wait. I think it's... this is gonna produce oxygen. I had that somewhere. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Oh, whoops, I, I combined the wrong thing. Combine, combine. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, I need the meat to like pour that on and then set it on fire.
Such a weird combo, but sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So now we just have like a hole in the wall. And you purge the picture with fire. Ugh. Lots of ears and then a mouth. Okay, what do we what do we got here? Where am I? I'm in a weird like back area. This. The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates. But when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to the word, to a word the priestess said. Princess said, sorry. But she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. No beginning and no ending. I really didn't understand that story. It's probably just some pages torn out from the middle of a book. But it's probably something, some puzzle that I will need to figure out. It is priestess, not princess. Hmm. Hmm. That's the other thing. Oh my god. He wasn't actually dead. He was just playing dead. But those guys that <laughs> noise, I fucking hate it. <laughs> That's my least. Ugh. <laughs> it's, it's like it's. I hate it. That shows you how effective and well made it is. <laughs> it's, it's one of those situations where it's like when you hate it. That's some good horror right there. I fucking hate it so much. Oh. First aid and hand bu handgun bullets. Okay, let's just check. Oh, wrong menu. <laughs> it's what my weapon's looking like. 10 and 6. I still have lots of shotgun shells. And lots of pistol bullets now. Looks like it's just a supplies room. Okay. Oh my god, I hate them so much. It's like, why do you play the game then, Rory? Because I hate it. I hate it, but it's excellent. Okay. 
okay, okay. Shh. There we go. Calm. The lamp's shining on some old silver coins I know I've seen before. I've got one. I got one earlier, so I shouldn't really need. I shouldn't take any more. I mean, I'm no thief. I might act like one now and then, though. What does this say? Something written on the wall. Thus one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet faith have no price. Ah, but do people know this? There's a plain old vending machine. This one's selling canned drinks. Kind of, come to think of it, I'm kind of thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. Do I use, do, do I just straight up use the coin that I just got? Right here. Not a regular, yeah. Not a regular drink. <laughs> yeah. Life insurance key. Can I get another silver coin for the road? Ah. <laughs> How do you know you don't need any more coins? It was probably the... Yeah, it's the life insurance section of the first floor. Alright. We're heading to the first floor. Great. music <laughs> it's so like it's so crafted to be like the most triggering of your like fight or flight <laughs> senses and shit Ugh. like in the industrial like people have in this game these games the Silent Hill games have all been praised for like how effective their horror, their brand of horror is. Cause yeah, the 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 industrial music that is used to like I wanna say highlight enemies. It's just it's so evocative. Like it's so such powerful music. Music. <laughs> Okay, there's just a bunch of doors down here, right where the enemies are. Oh, these ones eat as well, don't they? You know what, let's just ignore them. Let's not waste our ammo on them. There's something on these tables. It's the end of that creepy fairy tale I found. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them, and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes, just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? Oh, fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui ego eres. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry, and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Tu fui ego eres. Weird writing. The monster at the gate. What was that?
We suddenly go out there and the monster is dead! And the enemies in the hallway are gone too. Seemingly. Yeah, the monster that was here is now gone. And we can escape! Yay! We're out of here! Last Drop Cafe. Sign for a cafe. Oh, that's the one I was just in. Yeah, <laughs> I see. The Last Drop. I don't have a map of this area. Yeah, we're actually outside! Except it's a weird kind of outside, because a whole bunch of things are like locked off. But it's outside nonetheless, yay, there's cars and shit. <laughs> They're all like run down and beaten up, but it's it's outside, yay. Running past the construction site. What's down here? This might be the right way to go. Damn it. What's this? Oh, been running a bit much. Apartments? Oh wait, isn't this- yeah wait, is this the apartment block? That we actually live in? This might actually be the apartment block that I live in. Not my place. I don't know what place I live at. Uh, I don't need to use the elevator. My apartment number is 102 on the ground floor. I think it's the one that's lit up. Okay, let's just check this. This is... But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? What's this doing here? That's really, this really pisses me off. It's like having someone spit on your sacred place. Look at that. Makes me, makes my, makes me head hurt. <laughs> Look at that. This makes me head hurt. Looking at this makes me head hurt. <laughs> what does it mean? All right, apartment hall. All right. This is. Kind of technically the introduction complete. <laughs> the end of the introduction. But the introduction is like the, like I would say two fifths of the of the game. Oh. At, Dad, at very, home. at very least. Listen. If not a third. Really crazy is going on. I think. Oh wait, should... no. Two fifths is more. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Dad? Oh dear. Yeah, she finally gets home to her father, and he's dead. And after spending some time grieving, she sees that there's like a blood trail leading outside in like a blind rage. Did you do this? ago for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. 
And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! You have a gun, Heather. Just shoot her. <laughs> there is another reason. To fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you'll understand why. No, I'll never understand! You must try to remember me, and your true self as well. You will birth a god, and build an eternal paradise. <laughs> Just like, fuck you. He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. I can't even see so, it. What will you do? I would still kill we'll Claudia. Where all begins. Yeah, boss too! <laughs> yeah. We're not even in Silent Hill yet. <laughs> That's why I said this is like the intro. Oopsie, it's wrong button. Okay. Please don't do that to me. Please look at the enemy. Oh. He was like on the floor. Oh god. Oh, fuck me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How much damage does he do? Not much. <laughs> it's fine. How much ammo do we have? We have plenty. Okay. Okay. There he is. Wonderful. Followed me home. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already. <laughs> Calm down. I just. Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead. He's murdered. Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. And then he doesn't go. Like this. What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, 
I'll kill her myself. Hmm. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How you gonna get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by and we'll finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. <laughs> Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Hmm, yeah. I'll find that woman to make her pay, I promise I will. I'll be back, Dad. I promise I'll come home soon. I missed the other line of dialogue. <laughs> Dad's bookshelf. There's nothing unusual about it. Um, yeah, sometimes what happens is when I press, like, when you press X on something, it comes up with text. There's nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. But if you, like, suddenly change, you know, move, it will cut the dialogue off. And so sometimes I don't mean to, like, I I'm still holding the directional button from before I, cl I examined a thing and that causes it to like cut off suddenly <sighs> yeah anyway let's get out of here I don't think there's anything of is there anything of value here dad why did, I have to, why did you have to die you told me you were the strongest man in the world liar it's, I mean he didn't necessarily lie. He said strongest man, not strongest monster. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's anything in here that I can actually use. Let's go. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but... We've got no other choice. Yeah. It's our first lead. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. Um, that moment there, when you get home, can be the end of the game if you do a special sequence of things just right but it only works in the new game plus anyway and you have to have a, you have to have special items it's really the really specific started raining um setup that you need are you sleeping i'm awake you cold what's the deal with silent hill anyway it used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work. You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken.
Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. <laughs> that wouldn't explain I'm that. Just trying to remember my childhood. Yeah. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. Am I still friends with A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. Hmm. It's the story of the first game. If god if it could be killed by a human being. Pretty sure that's the story of the first Maybe game. Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. That baby was her. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. He loved me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you tell you how happy you made me. head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. Fifty-something years old. I never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. I can't remember if that guy dies or not.
But I don't know what the logic is of looking at the hospital. I remember the hospital, that's a big section of the game. Uh... Yeah, we're about to, we're about to go to the hospital section, which is a... A hefty... It's like the mall, it's a hefty section. Of the, of the game. We're like a little motel somewhere in, in Silent Hill. But, we'll look at the hospital in the next steps. Oh, that's what it is. Time doesn't pass when I'm in cutscenes. So the, the, the game time doesn't include things like cutscenes. Probably doesn't include things when I'm like paused like this. Or maybe even not when I'm in my menu like this. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. We'll explore the hospital. I'm just going to step outside. Well, I'm gonna, we're going to explore the hospital in the next episode. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. <laughs> yeah, we're finally here. We're finally in Silent Hill. With the classic, ridiculous fog. All the time. <laughs> Check the links in the description for my social media pages and my merchandise store page. Hit that share button to share the video and hit that little bell to get notified of the next episode being uploaded. Or whatever the case. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next episode of Silent Hill 3!